place called SH1 in the Hirunui district. Salmon. Too far, watch the trees. Don't want to be tying any more gear on. Can't be bothered. Let's just walk along with you. Oh, we're always going to search for a few fish. If you ain't got anything straight away, just move, move along, even if it's 10 yards. Even if it's 10 yards, 10 yards. Tiny little bit of um, 15 pound leader.
mods on the market for just doing what I'm doing here. You can, um, you can carry on driving a little bit past the bridge. I don't know if we'll get round the bridge. I've left my car in the main sort of car park because I've not got a four wheel drive and I don't want to get stuck, so I've just left it and walked up. That, that, you're just, it's easy just to. This is a nice stretch of water. As I was wading back to the car near the mouth. Not huge, but if you don't seem to go for these bigger lures, but you can get them on a, little, a lot smaller feather lures, little soft baits and things like that. The rules and regulations stipulate that they like to use either a spinner or a fly. So it's a little bit of a grey area, the old soft baits. But I'm, if, you, if there's certain lures you've brought from the tackle shop, and you, that's what you like to use. So just use it. of this lure at the minute. right tight in there you could have a real deep channel in there and that could be 12 foot 18 foot you just wouldn't know. you wouldn't know unless you sort of put As you come into the shallow, speed up a little bit. There's no sea run trout in this section, I would say. There'd be brown trout. It's not tidal, this area here. Too far away.
30 degree day. But it's just right, it's just nice. The sun's out. That's foggy this morning. Oh, so we're just going to move around again. Just going to move around. Just going to move around. Just going to move around at this deep little slow pool in front of me here. There's a few four wheel drive tracks here. But it looks like they've reversed the vehicles up, so it, it strikes as a um, place where. Beautiful here. There's a bridge over there. We'll walk, we'll, we'll, we'll walk around the point after we've had a little go here. Yeah, I mean, it depends, you know. I mean, I've already I've been fishing most of the day, but it's a big question of how much time you actually want to spend in an area. All I would say is. Sometimes you just have to risk it a little bit just to get a few fish.
lot of people do really well in places like this upstream. I generally don't fish upstream. Mainly because I'm sporting.